Hey, watch fans, Brad from Brent Miller Jewelers. And today I have a real basic question for you. Do you prefer your watch as a simple three-hander, kind of classic aesthetic, such as this Omega CK859 that was uh, released earlier this year? Or do you prefer a little bit busier dial? Do you prefer your chronograph? Do you prefer complications on your wristwatch? Uh, here on my right, I have the Omega Chronoscope. Both of these were in our case, and I thought, you know, kind of white silver dials with uh, blued hands. Why not uh, compare these just uh, side by side? I don't know that people are going to cross shop these, but nonetheless, I think they're both fantastic looking. I've reviewed both of them individually. Uh, I'll put a link in the description for the review on each one of these if you want to go over the size, dimension, specs of each one of these. But really, I just wanted to kind of ask the question, do you prefer a, a simple watch? Uh, strangely enough, neither one of these, and I didn't realize it until I had them have a date. So um, you obviously could have a three-hander with a date or a chronograph with a date. So I won't say that you don't have to have a date. But if you're building a one-watch collection, just one watch, do you prefer a three-hander or the chronograph? And then if it's a part of a watch collection between these two, which one do you like better? So I'll just give you a, a, some close-up images of these. If you're not familiar with this model, this is a silver dial, and you can see the stamp right here. If I can focus a little bit, the uh, AG925. So it'll be interesting to see how this dial patina is obviously cased up, but it is a silver dial, which I think is really cool. I'm not going to lie. This is my favorite release of the year. I think Omega nailed it on this uh, throwback to a 1930 sector dial model. Uh, you have the older logo, uh, the strap. There are some rumors floating around on the watch forums that this is not going to be produced very long. Uh, so that'll be interesting to see. I cannot confirm or deny. I've not heard that myself here, uh, how long this will be in the Omega catalog. However, if you want one, I probably wouldn't wait around. Uh, I, I don't know how long they will be uh, you know, produced. But overall, I just love the classic dial on this again if you, if you watch the channel you know i'm a huge fan of blued hands or indices on a white or silver dial i just think this is a fantastic watch i love the size um, you have a manual wind movement and again it's not a limited edition it's a numbered edition so there is really no way of knowing how many omega plants produce you can see the number here on this one this is the second model we've got in so if you are interested in this please you know reach out brad at brentlmiller.com happy to help out and then taking a look at the chronoscope, you have your constantly running second hand or sub second hand here, your nine o'clock position. You have a uh, 12 hour counter over here at three. Take a look at the chrono. Obviously a little bit larger watch love the bracelet on the chronoscopes if you're not familiar they are similar to the speedmasters however you do get some micro adjustability here on the inside of the clasp which uh i know a lot of you speedmaster owners of the newer 3861 are wondering why in the heck did they not put that on the clasp uh, your guess is as good as mine but uh, i do hear it's coming so again manual wind movement but to me it's really again aesthetically do you prefer the simple three-hand or do you prefer the chronograph? Let me know in the comments. Let me know which between the two of these, which one you prefer. I'll give you a quick wrist shot just to see uh, how they wear on my six and three-quarter inch wrist as well. I do own uh, a Speedmaster FIOS, so it's not that I'm against the chronograph, but just the size of this... 39 on my six and three quarter inch wrist is perfect. If you can't tell, I, I, I do. I really think Omega just did a fantastic job on this model. And the chronoscope. I will say, while the chronoscope is a larger watch, I really do not feel like it wears um, as large as the uh, the specs indicate. Uh, again, I, I'm about 12 inches from my camera here. I'll see if I can give you a better angle. 
Is it a little larger than I would personally prefer wearing? Sure, but I don't think it's overly large. If I remember correctly, uh, I think the lug the lug is still under 50 millimeters. Uh, again, I'll put the I'll put all of that in the description um, to confirm. But overall, just two great looking watches from Omega. As always, greatly appreciate you viewing. If there's anything I can do for you, shoot me that email, brad at brentlmiller.com, and I'll see you guys in the next video.